This is Michael with the Vision Experience here at the Blue Starlight Cinema here in Vail, Colorado. And this video is going to talk about how to convert one of your sources from 2D to 3D here with your new audio video system. There's two ways you can do this. The first process we're going to start is by having your 2D to 3D uh, process done with the standalone 2D to 3D converter box. Now the first thing you're going to do is, is, as we've done everything before, get your audio, get everything set up, and you're going to go ahead and what we now, we have a 2D uh, uh, regular DVD playing in the DVD player. Now, the way this has been set up before is we have the output from the audio video preamp going into the Darby Video Enhancer, and then that goes out to the projector. But what we need to do is send that signal through the 2D to 3D converter box. So you're going to simply unplug the cable from the input of the Darby Video Enhancer. That's coming directly from the preamp. And you're just going to plug it right here into the front of the 2D to 3D converter. And then we already have another standalone cable sitting right here. This is the output from the 2D to 3D converter. And it's right here. And neither you just plug it right into the video enhancer. And that's it. Now you have the preamp going through the 2D to 3D converter through the video enhancer to the projector. Once that's done, we have the remote right here. And all you need to do is power it on. And then you want to make sure that this front input is HDMI 4. So you, you want to make sure that you select eight, number 4 on the input there. And that light right there also says number 4. So we know it's now set up correctly. Finally, on the remote, you see 2D to 3D. So you just simply press 3D once. And that's it. Now... We already have this projector set up for 3D. We talked about how to do that in our previous video. You just need to make sure that it's on Visa 3D setting in the 3D mode in the projector menu and that your modulator is in front of the projector plugged in and that's it. it the modulator automatically turns on, it senses it, that's all you have to do. And right now we have a 3D image. And so putting on the glasses, you'll see a full 3D. Now there's one more thing you want to do with this. This menu's got three optional settings. As you can see, you got 3D level, depth, and pop. And play around with that, and that will increase the 3D effect, effect for you greatly. What we found is just you hit, you hit each button three times, three times, hit that three times, and hit that button three times, and that will... Uh, give you a good basis point, but play around with that. Different movies are going to be affected differently when you convert them to, from 2D to 3D. You'll find that the Pixar animations, anything animated, converts to 3D really well. The darker movies, horror movies, things like that don't really capture as well. Things like t uh, uh, football games, sporting events convert to 3D very, very well. So have some fun with that. But that's all there is to convert your image from 2D to 3D. Now, right now we have a um, Blu-ray DVD playing. And so uh, if you want it to have something else, just remember that, um, that in the, the preamp, you can have four inputs. So let's say you had a live camera plugged into HDMI 1. If you just simply select HDMI 1 on your preamp, now the camera's going to go to the 3D, 2D to 3D converter, and you will still get the 3D uh, uh, conversion. Or if you had a cable, satellite, TV, your laptop, the computer, YouTube, whatever, you can convert anything from 2D to 3D. Just uh, plug it into your preamp, or directly into the converter right there and then all the conversion process will happen for you. So that's all there is to convert your sources from 2D to 3D. Now there's a second way to do it 
and uh, we're just going to tell you about it briefly so that you can know if if you want to do it. Um, the uh, this particular DVD player has a 2D to 3D converter built into it. So you go into the menu, you select 2D to 3D where it gives you the source format, and then below that in the menu it has some of these uh, pop or depth type functions, and then you can kind of set the level that way. And then when you do that, you just make sure that your projector's in 3D and you, that's all there is to it. Um, the box is really, really good, so you may never need to do the internal 3D version in the uh, Blu-ray DVD player, but I recommend take the time, play around with it, look at it. You're going to find that some movies will convert better than others, and you might find that for certain movies, it's it the, the box may work better than the DVD or vice versa. So that's on you to go ahead and play around with that and learn about that. And then uh, you can kind of, you know, take it a step at a time. The 2D to 3D is really, it's not an exact science. You're going to just kind of play around with it and use the different control functions. And you will find for many movies and many sources and live cameras and and particularly uh, games and, and animations. It's amazing. And uh, so have fun with that and enjoy that very much. And that's it. That's all there is for 2D to 3D conversion. Any more questions, you can contact us anytime at thevisionexperience.com.